What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to show my new blower rack, so I told you I was to throw a little, a little paint on it.
tight fit. But she fits. <laughs> what you think? Not too bad. set it down here yeah turn it around and on that side it's gonna have to go the other way that way <laughs>
show my new blower rack so I told you I was to throw a little a little paint on it she looking like new so spring loaded latch right here it just goes up locks all I have it right here is a heavy duty piece of angle line that I cut and weld it onto the frame at the right height of my blower you don't have to weld this part in I just did it for extra security you can just bolt it in and you could actually have it adjustable for different size blowers if you'd like. But most blowers have some sort of handle here, you know, with an opening. You just need something that'll stab through it. And that, that seems just right. And this goes, that's because this one is pretty much just flat and vertical. It's, it's easy. And uh, this can come completely off. This is how I made that. And it just slides on. Locks in the first position. Like that. And the holes right here, a 5 sixteenths and a 3 8 hole right here. And that's for the small shank lock or you, if you really want to go bigger you can go like that uh, right here it's welded to the angle iron and down here you can see I just did a a bracket to where I could bolt it which have a 5 16 lag bolt into the wood and I have if you can see I got a couple of washers under it spacing it up and the reason I did that is that the square tubing is uh, is hollow on the inside and I don't have it capped off on the top on purpose. That way when it rains, the, the water doesn't build up inside the tube and it can just drain out easily right there. And it's hollow up here too. And that way whenever it gets wet, the, the water can just flow out. And uh, also for the arms, for this side, I just put it against the spare tire and I have one of these from the hardware store. It's just a bracket that keeps that from going that way. Since there's no spare tire, I have one on each side. You know, going like 
that. And that works pretty good too. The frame is bolted with self taps into the square tubing, and then the wood is bolted on. I should have thought about and I would do differently if I it, if I had to do it again is this wood I raised it up on purpose just a little bit higher than the metal and I thought that was going to do some good because I, I I didn't want it this to get all scratched up from the blower you know dragging getting on and off but what it did is it, it, it limited the platform I recommend bolting the frame a little bit lower that way this sits level with it and don't worry about the scratches that way when you put the blower on it it, it doesn't want to tilt over so when I come in you want to come in off to the side right here that way you have room to spin this around and which is not that bad but you can kind of see it's, it leans a little bit it's not really that big of a deal but I'm, I'm picky and it just goes on like that and this drops down if you have any questions on how I built it, if you want to build some for yours, I'd be glad to answer any. This this application could even work on a uh, enclosed trailer. I think it, you know, with a change change up a few things here and there. But I mean, same platform basically.